Now, KSPW Weather with meteorologist Art Jarrett. All right, good morning to you, SkyCam 8, Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk here. Yeah, a couple of people out there attempting to kind of walk by the water there. You have the overcast conditions. The winds are fairly light. In fact, it's been a late uh, push of the clouds uh, coming in from the outer waters, moving closer to our local beaches. In fact, they're slowly starting to work their way in, so not much of the cloud cover as you get inland. And just around Watsonville, you're picking up some clouds there. And, of course, uh, that's probably over into Aromas uh, trying to get into uh, Highway 101. 54 degrees in, at the boardwalk here for you, and the beach closers have we've been talking about all morning in effect until Saturday morning. They'll do their best to get those beaches open for you because you're going to need it. There's a, a lot of heat working into the area as our warming trend begins. Santa Cruz County, Main Beach, Cowell Beach, and one mile radius around Steamer Lane. So those are some populated beaches there for you. And you know, we do have fog trackers I mentioned coming now from uh, Marin Headlands working down through the Golden Gate Bridge, Half Moon Bay down along the coast around Davenport turning the corner and that's where the fog is right now and the low clouds holding on just starting to fill, uh, fill in right around uh, Point, uh, Point Pinos and around uh, Big Sur. So slowly but surely we'll get those clouds in there for you. So a hazy start to the day. Monsoonal moisture is working its way out, but we'll keep an eye on it because it's going to be making its way back again. High pressure will push a little to the east and eventually it's going to start to work its way back as it builds back to the coastline and we'll have a warming trend coming our way. In fact, as we go along, Futurecast is going to show that heat starting to work right back into, into California. Right now it's kind of moving off as we cool down a couple of degrees today, but eventually as we get into Thursday, temperatures will return back to seasonal averages and all that heat coming in for the next uh, few days. Well, we do have a lot of wildfires out there. There are too much to name currently, but we have to keep an eye on any type of lightning strikes that could come back our way. 60s, 70s, and 80s today as you go into the local forecast area for us, into the 90s possibly in some locations in remote areas. Triple digits in the Central Valley, as you can see, not much change as you go from the Central Valley into the Sierra Nevada mountains. But for us, temperatures have cooled about 1 to 3 degrees today, working from the mountains down into Midtown Santa Cruz, 81 degrees. At the boardwalk, they're expecting around 72 degrees, getting around much of the area as you go into to the inland valleys from 78 all the way up to about 85. The pinnacles return back to the 90s again, so mid 90s to actually 100 uh, degrees for them. So tonight, 50 to 61 degrees as we get into the morning temperatures, bay low clouds working into the forecast area over the next eight days. 67 to 83, we get back to near seasonal averages as we go into Friday. That's when we hit the spot. And then for Saturday and Sunday, temperatures will exceed that mark and it should be fairly decent for everybody. But the inland side, if you allow me to do that for you here, you're going to see those numbers pressing at 80s and 90s tomorrow and then continue on in the Saturday with 102 to 104.